Boom! Fast forward three days. Fuchsia forgot to give us nighttime, as it often does. Things around us became loosey-goosey and a lot more fun. We hadn't slept at all, but we camped out with the members of the bands. Clover and I sat on a log next to Juice. We smoked extra amber cinnamon sticks, and we switched off taking sips from a bottle of macho scotcho together. This is the best macho scotcho I've ever tasted, Clover said. She was right. I felt so macho drinking it. The paperboy spell had worn off of action, and now he was off somewhere getting the hell hump and bumped out of him by Anatomia. Slingshot was brewing a kettle of black vanilla energy syrup over the fire. Daiquiri and Nickel sat under a blanket and spoke a deep, emotional chit-chat. One of those, my eyes have been open far too long, but can't stop looking at you chit-chats. Let us mourn, a voice yelled loudly from off in the bushes. It was Anatomia's voice. We have lost a dear friend today. She emerged topless, followed by Action, who she guided on a leash. He was naked, still wearing his roller skates and trying to cover up his pogo stick with his hands. Action Mink Pink is no more. I have swallowed him whole and coughed up a new man, a man reborn. The drummers of both bands began to drum roll on a log. Let me introduce to you, Reaction, Pilot of Pink. You heard it here, folks. Anatomia murdered our poor boy and reincarnated him as a man with a new name. A name with a title. A kick-ass title at that. He must have done great back there. Everyone began to sing happy birthday to him. So, Action Mink Pink is now Reaction, Pilot of Pink. We are now in the post-Mink Pink era. Anatomia gave Reaction a golden cape that said Pilot in hot pink letters. And he grew thick, manly sideburns right before our very eyes. We celebrated by drinking more. Funny. A hot, nasty hump and bump was all it took to change a human definition. For those who witnessed this majestic event today, we will always understand that Reaction flew his jet through the pink like a master aviator. Does anybody need to know more about you than that? We all sat around the fire and spoke of many adventures of the past. Obviously, the band members had more to tell than we plebeians did. If you looked at Daiquiri's face, you could tell she was doing that thing I mentioned earlier. She was absorbing information as the music titans talked. Eventually, Juice asked us the age-old question. Where are you headed? We don't know, Clover answered. Oh, thank goodness, he said. We were all quiet for a moment. And then Daiquiri asked what he meant by that. I'm glad to hear you're not a group of those snooty snots who think they know their way around fuchsia, he explained. I chuckled, thinking momentarily of Bunny. If you don't mind me asking, I said, do you think that fuchsia is directionless? Yes. It didn't take Juice even one second to spill that answer. So then, I started a question that I didn't know how to finish asking. I was a puzzle piece floating. Listen, Mountain, Anatomia chimed in, taking the reins of this pony ride. Go forth and pluck juicy ripe pleasures from the bushels of cities. Experience as many things and people as you can. Who cares about directions when you can have eruptions of fun? Then Juice argued with her. I don't think existence is just about running around looking for anything. I think you need to get obsessed with one thing and be the best at it. Make it your royal priority pie. Oh, I remember your priority pie, Anatomia said with a slight spiteful cackle. Ha <laughs> ha! I couldn't get a slice of it. Music is a hungry slut, Mia. It's okay, she said. I filled my belly with someone tastier anyway. Juice rolled his eyes. You know, you still get thirsty for juice, Slingshot said. But that's none of my business. He took a sip of his vanilla syrup. The whole conversation confused me even more. I'm not the only person who looks around and can't find direction here. Even these highly inspiring sassafras smell lost. Is there a purpose in continuing to look? The universe depends on this journey, right? So I can't stop searching. But what if I never find anything? 